I think my professional career was very short before I started to do something on my own. I was just not a person that could work for people. That became really clear early on that I was just better at working for myself and doing what I believed in. So I think that's why I ended up you know, opening my own restaurant. In this industry, people do it for a different purpose. For me personally, I just really enjoy the little things, whether it's having a drink or meeting a new person or talking to my staff or going for a late night drink with my staff. It's just very enjoyable for me. So I think having enjoyment in the work, I think in itself, not everyone has. So if you don't enjoy your work, why would you be nice to people? I really care about people. My family is very close-knitted, so we're very thoughtful to each other. And I'm very thoughtful to my friends and, and even my relationship with my girlfriend and things like that. So I think this thoughtfulness needs to portray into the restaurant. So I'm thoughtful to how they feel or how I want the food to be. I want them to have that sense of surprise. And I want them to walk in and be like, whoa, what is this? I've never seen this before. This is crazy. This is awesome. And it becomes something that I remember. I come from like an upper middle class family, so my parents literally had no plan for me, but was like, your dad doesn't like Canada, so we're gonna move back. And we went from like a beautiful, you know, suburban house in Canada where you have backyard, you have your cousins and a dog, and it comes into like Hong Kong, which are in a box. And suddenly, I don't have friends, I just have my parents, and we had a TV. My experience coming from such a happy, simple place like Canada and going to Hong Kong is like intense. I know how to make people have fun. So I really love relationships. So, so for me, I like, you know, that engagement. How do I make you feel? Like, how do you feel in this restaurant? To me, it's not just about you eating delicious food. It's like, oh my God, I feel so fun in here. I feel like this is so special. I've never been here before. I mean, what is this? That whole thing for me is like what drives me. So I think I always had that when I was young. I just didn't know what to apply it to. So now I, I have this thing where I li relive my childhood. Now I take ceramics classes. I did everything that my parents, out of love, didn't let me do. Everything I was just doing was just disconnected to who I was. So when I was young, I had no confidence because I was like, oh, I'm not good at anything. So until I reached to, I think, 25, 26, I was like, oh, there's something going on. Like, this feels good. So then that kind of turned into this. I think in Hong Kong, it's like, Love what you love because you'll lose the love soon and so don't do it. It's a really weird like, you know, Chinese mentality. So in the US it was like, no, love what you love and do what you love. And that made no sense at first, but slowly you saw people that were successful and happy. And so I think that really instilled in me this belief that it's possible even in Hong Kong.